Hey guys, so today I'm going to see how much I can get out of my solar power system, um, including the new EG4 battery bank. Now for those of you who are new, I'll give a brief summary. That's my ground mount array back there. That's 5,000 watts and faces southwest. This is the main array in the garage. It's 8,000 watts, faces south. We're only in January 11th here, and so around 1 o'clock this tree is going to shade the main panel. And it's close to the shortest day of the year, so not the best time to do a test, but we'll do another one in a few months. The ground mount array is on this charge controller, and the garage is split into two arrays, the top row and the secondary row. Okay, we have two inverters, 4,400 watts each. This is the primary, which is on all the time. The secondary sleeps 16 hours a day. It's on for eight hours during the day when we're running all the heavy loads. Got some stuff here. Um, this is the old battery bank, 16 of the Trojan lead acid batteries that we just replaced with this new EG4. So I've only been running this for about five days. That means the system is still learning. So figuring out, you know, it's parameters and stuff, sort of training itself. At about 40%, all these voltages are within about two hundredths, I've noticed. 52.2, 52.19, 18, you know, so on. So seems pretty tight. And over here we think we're at 38%. This is a separate battery monitor. This is open loop. And it's trying to figure out this same thing. But they're already pretty close and they're getting better. Okay, so it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Got about 900 watts of solar coming in. Pulling 1,000 watts on L1 and 260 on L2. So, so far we're just running the base loads. Refrigerator, freezer, TVs, computers. Uh, we have a mini split running and one space heater so far. Losing 6 amps out of the battery and we're at 38%. So let's go turn on some more stuff. The sun is just starting to hit this panel. These are the two panels for the house. So almost everything is switched to solar, except for the big loads, the 240, like the water heater, well pump, and the dryer. So we'll switch those on when needed. So it's 8.30. It's about 40 degrees out here. So we're running some heaters. I've got a mini split and this heater is on. I'm going to put it at medium. And let's see. Let's go over here. Get this guy. Put that to medium. It's on L2. And this one over here on medium. That's on L1. All right, now let's look at what we're pulling. All right, so 2,000 on L1, 1,000 on L2. You see our watt hours are climbing up. We're 39% charged. We're uh, adding 20 amps to the battery bank now. Got about 3,200 watts coming in off the main panel and 1,000 watts off of uh, the ground mount. Both inverters are running. All right, looking good. It's the Mr. Cool mini split. All right, here's a fourth space heater. Crank that up to medium. Also running my computer, my security system over here. I can, we can look at our system from here as well. So we've got 18 amps going in, 40%, 2,000 on L1, and 1,300 on L2. All right, so my wife is just leaving. So I thought I'd show you this quick uh, security thing here. So that's the alarm sensor paired with the video cameras. All right, so I just plugged in the EcoFlow and you'll see the power will start ramping up on that. It takes about 1200 watts. There it goes. Charging up. It's 920. Let's throw in the pool pump.
The pool pump is 240 volts, so now we've got 2300 watts on L1 and 3700 watts on L2, and we're losing 17 amps out of the battery, still 41%. All right, let's get some laundry started. It's about 11 o'clock. Got about eight or 9,000 watts coming in. I turned off a couple of the heaters because it's warming up a little. And I'm just putting 111 amps into the bank. It's 56%. Let's go turn on the water heater. This is our 240 volt water heater. Okay, switch it to solar, and you see that jump up. And you can see now we're pulling 2,800 watts on L1, 3,000 on L2. The water heater has a 3,500 watt element in it, and that dropped our amps down to 39. All right, so it's 12.15, and you can see where the shade is just starting to hit the panel. Probably in only an hour or so, this panel will be wiped out. So that's because we're in January. All right, so we got about 9,000 watts coming in. 134 amps going into the bank, 77% charged. About 70 amps per leg. Let's take a look in here a sec. Let's look at a couple of these, see what it thinks. So he thinks he's 81, a little higher. I think that'll get worked out over time. 54.3, 54.31. They seem to be tracking pretty tight. All right. All right, so let's take a look at the dryer. Switch to solar. Turn it on. Boom. Look at the meters from the dryer. Pulling down a lot of solar. The dryer is using 6,000 watts. It turned just about everything else off. Uh, we've used about 14 kilowatt hours so far in the house. And we've charged our batteries from about 38 to 82 percent. And we're still charging. All right, it's about 1.30. We're still pulling about 7,000 watts of solar down, putting 114 amps into the bank. We're at 92 percent. And I'm running out of stuff to throw at it. So I'm down to charging batteries for yard equipment <laughs> so we're doing pretty good all right so the eg4s uh think they're at 100 percent 55.54 volts but the magnum thinks we're still at 97 now interesting that 55.67 that was 55.2 something just like 10 minutes ago so seems to be climbing i think this is going to figure it out so it'll probably move from 97 to 100 kind of quickly. All right, so the battery monitor kit still has the state of charge at 97. So it hasn't really figured this out, but the charge controllers did because they switched to absorb, cut their output to zero. All right, guys, it was just a few minutes later, and it did exactly what I thought. It jumped from 97 to 100, uh, changed that to zero, and basically called it done. So it figured it out. All right guys, it's 4 p.m. and we're just about out of sunshine here. Probably still bringing in about 300 watts or so, but about done. There you go. So let's see how we did. Looks like we took in 10 and 10. There's probably some change. Let's say 21 kilowatt hours that we burned in the house. And we got to 100% on the EG4 battery bank, which is great from 38 so 62 percent is probably about 19 or so kilowatt hours so i'd say maybe 40 kilowatt hours overall and we didn't sit at 100 percent long when we had sun coming in so i don't think we wasted too much that's pretty close to the max we could have got so our ratio of panels to chargers to inverters to batteries i think is pretty good um, everything seemed to work out pretty well so and we'll try this again in a few months when we have more sunshine. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.